Hey guys, I just bought these. Uh, I was at the Goodwill and uh, picked up these Nikes for uh, 15 bucks. I picked up another pair for five bucks last time, but they're just good because I've worked in my shoes and <laughs> no matter what I buy, I always ruin them. I try to keep them nice, but for some reason I always end up um, basically destroying my shoes. So first thing I do is, uh, of course, I wash them. And if they're, you know, kind of dirty, I, I pre-wash them and I use um, Awesome. And then I take my shoestrings, I do a figure eight. That way, uh, they won't come out. I hate when my shoelaces come out. And I can, you can pull them up, lock them in. And these shoes don't look like they've been worn too much. I mean, they're super clean. There's just a little bit of dirt on the bottom. And uh, I used to wear 10 in the house. Now, for some reason, 11s seem to fit me a lot better. So I don't guess my feet are stri flattening out. <laughs> Once you start weighing a little bit more, I think your feet get big and fat and flat because you got way too much. So I think that's what's happening. So anyway, it doesn't really need a lot on the top, but I'm going to go ahead and spray them down anyway and see what kind of dirt we can get off these. I don't have a shop sink, so at home, so I just figured I would, you got to watch out. <laughs> Man, this stuff really takes your breath away. It's actually taking the red off. So, I got my little scrubber. <coughs> I don't use this for dishes, so calm down. This is just for shoes and uh, stuff like that. And I'll throw these in the wash too before I go. And I also got some uh, germicide. I'll spray. It's got basic G, kills all the germs. I'll spray and wash the sink down too after I'm done. Germicide. But I just can't see spending two or three hundred dollars on on tennis shoes <clears throat> when they, you know they make these in China for less than five dollars so the only people making money are not the people actually making the shoes <laughs> it's the athletes and the, the Nike it's making a kill on these shoes I love their shoes, don't get me wrong, but I just, I don't know, I just can't see myself spending hundreds of dollars on shoes they make for five dollars. A lot of people, they buy shoes, they wear them a couple times, and then, you know, the newness wears off. I buy shoes because they feel good on my feet, and they, um, make my feet feel good and they make me money because they take care of your feet they take care of you right so I'm going to scrub these down one more time they are stained up a little bit but I'm not worried about I never knew why they made white soles everybody likes white soles and I normally buy a new pair if I do buy a new pair of shoes everything's black or brown or doesn't show dirt these are more like shoes you just wear to the gym and that's it for you wear out when you're going out, which I don't I'm usually work in, so I don't have a chance to just go out and not do anything. But these are actually pretty clean. It's just one spot I can't get off. If you look at the difference, I mean, they come pretty, pretty clean. Just with the, I'm still going to bring them in the wash. But look at that. If you guys ever have this issue, this spray is just really awesome. You buy at the dollar store. 
you probably need 20 pairs of shoes with one bottle. And then if you let it soak, see I haven't let these soak. I just sprayed them on and scrubbed them. But if you let them soak, spray it on and then put them in the washing machine, they might even get cleaner. So. <laughs> so this stuff is pretty potent. Turn the fan on because it will take the breath away. A little scrub brush from the dollar store. Job today. <coughs> we got a good job tomorrow, so I'm happy we're working. There's just a couple spots that sometimes they won't come out. But you scrub on them a few times, you get 99% of the dirt off. Sometimes you miss a spot here or there. But sometimes if you throw them in the washer, it can get spots too that <laughs> you miss. That's getting. Of course, when you wear them outside, it's made it dirty again, but I like to at least get it clean once. Unless you want to wear them for slippers. <laughs> or just kid take them to the gym and just wear them in the gym. I don't even know how much these shoes cost, honestly. But I know they have more than $15. that dirty to begin with. Someone probably wore them a few times and decided they didn't like them anymore. Or maybe they got them as a gift and I guess they weren't matching their new line of clothing. But that's, I don't know what that is right there. It looks like a maybe set on a something. I don't know what that is. It's just a piece of rock or something. So that came right out. So I don't know. Is it worth 15 bucks? I think so. Look like brand new shoes. Josh got himself a pair too. I don't know if he's cleaning them. I told him to put some awesome on them. You know, like I said, I'll throw them in the wash, spray them down with awesome one more time. But that's pretty much, I mean, almost looks like a brand new pair, doesn't it? And I'll spray them down with some, uh, this is germicide. Them down real good, maybe take the insoles out, spray it down, throw them in the wash, and look at those insoles, they look like brand new as well. Not much wear on these things. No, 
not much wear at all. Wash it in some hot water, let them dry. There's probably no germs on here, but just to be on the safe side. Down with the other side. All right, that's it. Now I'm going to throw them in the wash and see what happens. But anytime you can get a pair of Nikes for 15 bucks that are like brand new, yeah, they might be a little bit. A little bit stained, but they're going to get stained eventually. So, when you have white soles, unless you're just going to the gym, even if you walk from the from your uh, car to the gym, you're still going to get dirty. So, anyway, you throw these in the wash, and then you'll be good to go. They're in the washer. So anyway, we've got a, our log splitter should be done uh, tomorrow. We had a, another job we had to finish, so we didn't have to time to work on our log splitter. But the uh, attachment plate came in, so and we got some extra steel to box in the ends, and uh, we should be. Uh, our welder has. Uh, I think he has time tomorrow to finish it. So hopefully, when we come in in the morning, or I come in, I got a meeting tomorrow until about nine. By the time I get done with my meeting, I'm hoping he uh, has that thing finished. Anyway, get your uh, self a pair of Nikes from Goodwill and clean them up. I think like fifty or hundred, two hundred dollar pair of shoes for uh, my first one I bought was five bucks, and these are fifteen. So save yourself some money. You still have decent stuff, and not have to pay an arm and a leg. And a lot of people think you're crazy if you go to Goodwill and buy stuff, but um, a lot of people, you know, they turn their stuff in and, you know, you can get what you want and uh, take the rest of the money and then invest it. So <clears throat> sometimes being frugal will help you uh, retire early. Anyway, talk to you later on the next one. These were for employees, these shoes. That's probably why they got rid of them. So I'm gonna go ahead and, I haven't seen anything that said YMC crew on it. So I'm just gonna hide that a little bit. It'll wash off eventually, but at least it won't stick out like a sore thumb. You get, do you work at the YMCA? It's like, no. <laughs> just take some permanent marker and Whacking that out. When you're on your feet, you can't even see. Ah! Yeah, I think, uh, that's it. And if you give these away to somebody, a kid or something, you'd be less likely to see that. I don't really care, but if you have a, you know, kids are today, they would probably make fun of a kid or something if they had something like that on their shoe. I don't know. But see, you can't even tell. You have to look really close to see that, especially from the distance. Alright, I'm done.